So this is the tale of Harriet Finister. It starts out quite nice, but soon... ...place, high in the treetops, her cabin... What dost thou want, mortal? I heard you call for me. I'm old and hurt. My raft is broken. I can't get home. Please, death, take me. There once was a mighty lion taking a walk through his kingdom on a beautiful summer's morning. From the end of his path entered a beautiful maiden. Though not the first damsel beheld by our king, she appeared somewhat peculiar. Her way of moving, her scent, her spirit, maybe, One day, a scorpion decided that he wanted a change. He set out on a journey through the forest. He climbed through tree roots and under vines and kept going until he reached a river. But he could not see a way across. Suddenly, he saw a frog sitting by the side of the river. Hello, Mr. Frog, called the scorpion. Would you give me a ride across the river if I help you? How will I know you won't kill me, said the frog. I can't swim, so if I did kill you, I would die too, the frog asked. What about when we get close to the other side? You could still try to kill me and get back to land. The scorpion agreed. But I wouldn't be able to get back to land because I can't swim.
worse than all beside, he whipped his mother till she cried. The trough was full, and faithful Trey came out to drink one sultry day. He wagged his tail and wet his lip. When cruel Fred snatched up a whip and whipped poor Trey till he was sore and kicked and whipped him more and more. At this, good Trey grew very red and growled and bit him till he bled. I am here, and you must listen to me. Silence! But, King, I have not been hiding away but rather have searched high and low for your cure. I have traveled from arctic glaciers, through ice, snow, and bitter wind, through sandstorms and over dunes, across arid deserts and barren land, through burrows and holes and across autumn meadows. And what, may I ask, were the results? Or will I have to punish you? But there will be no need, sire, for the cure is directly in front of you. You must flay the wolf alive. The wolf looked nervously from the fox to the lion and back. The lion moved aggressively toward the wolf and roared. Roar! Far, far away, in the rice fields of China, was a little shanty house where the country mouse lived. One fine morning, the country mouse was preparing a meal for a special guest he hadn't seen in years. His dear cousin from the city was coming to visit him. The country mouse had worked hard all day to provide a great feast for his cousin, preparing the ingredients for his signature fried noodles all from scratch.